everybody, welcome back to Jimmy's Promo, and today we'll be talking about the six best brand new features that's a part of Android 11. Now, we have two phones in front of us, the brand new Google Pixel 5, as well as the Galaxy S20. Both of these running on Android 11, and I wanted to show you both phones just to show you where all of these settings are located. So the first one that we'll cover today is dealing with permissions. So we'll go right inside of YouTube. So all I'm gonna do is press and hold on the app icon. We're gonna go inside of the information on both of these here. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go right inside of permissions and then the same thing over here on the Google Pixel 5 and one of the things that was added in that's brand new is this one right here remove permissions if app isn't used so it's a way that you're able to protect all of your applications so if you have any applications that is unused for a few months probably two or three months then the following permissions will basically just be removed so if you have an application on your phone that you might not really use all the time you might use it here and there and you don't want it to have access with all of these permissions, you're able to simply turn that on. So for example, let's say great clips over here, uh, we go inside of here, you might not get your haircut done all the time. Uh, so this is gonna be one of those that's pretty nice that you're able to do this one with, and you're able to just go right inside of here, tap remove permissions if app isn't used, and you just basically go right on back and that is it. So it's a really nice way that even if you have applications on your phone that you just use a few times a year, then every single time that you open up that application, if it's been a few months, you just have to re-give it its permissions. Now for the second feature, we go right back inside of the permissions. So let's say we go inside of Hangouts. And what we're gonna do with this one here is I'm gonna show you one more area with inside of permissions that has been changed. So on the Samsung phone, you just go inside of permissions. Let's say that we tap on camera, right over here where you tap on permissions, camera. You can see that you have three options, allow only while using the application ask every time or deny. So for most of these applications, I always choose this one right up over here, which is only while using the application. But the thing that's brand new on Android 11 is this one right here, ask every time. Now, if I was to show you what it looked like on Android 10, let's just move that one out of the way really quick. Let's say we go right inside of Hangouts, we go to App Info, then we go inside of Permissions, Camera. You can see that there's only two options here, which is Allow and Deny. So when it comes down to Android 11, you'll have a little bit more functionality, a little bit more customizations when it comes down to your permissions. Now for this third feature, this is where it has changed for Android 11 on Google Pixel phones, but on your Samsung Galaxy device, it's gonna be in the same spot, but we're talking about your smart home connectivity and how you're able to change and manage all your devices. So on Samsung One UI 3.0 with Android 11 still, it's gonna be with this button here, you just go inside of devices and then you have your smart home controls there. Now, something that's brand new for Android 11 on your Pixel phones and some other Android devices, it's going to be inside of your power menu. So you just press and hold on the power and you're able to switch between between all your different smart home things. You can also go inside of here, you can add controls and you can also edit your controls. Feature number four is one that's actually pretty helpful and it's dealing with your notifications. So earlier, if you got any type of notification, if you swiped it off, you would have to know exactly what you swiped off and maybe sometimes you get a notification, you see it in the panel, you swipe it off really quick and then right after that, it's already gone and you wish that you could have seen what happened uh, because maybe it was just something super important but you just swiped it too quick. So all you'd have to do is you'd be able to take a look at every history of every single notification popping through. So on your Samsung phone, just go inside the settings, go to notifications, and then underneath notifications, you go inside of your advanced features uh, or advanced settings, then you go to notification history. So this is gonna show you some of your recents on the top, and then it actually categorizes everything right below it. So if you know that something came through with let's say the weather channel and you don't know what it stated, uh, this is gonna be that little headline, and then you're able to tap on it and you can take a look at some of the details and some of the notifications uh, settings per that application. Uh, now on your Pixel phone, you wanna go inside of apps and notifications. Then you're gonna go down to notifications and then your notification history. And again, you have your most recent on the top. And then for the last 24 hours, you're able to take a look at any other notification coming through per each application. Feature number five, this one's only new to the Pixel devices and inside of Android 11 with your Pixel phones, you finally have screen record. Now, when you press and hold on this one, you're able to choose some of the settings. So if you wanted to record any type of audio, you just turn it on, but then you can actually choose if you want the audio to come from your microphone, the device audio, or both. 
Now I usually kind of suggest the device audio. Sometimes with your mic, it might pick up everything. Sometimes if you're listening to the game audio pretty loud, the microphone picks it up pretty loud and it's just not really that even. Uh, most times you might as well just record your game with the regular device audio. But if you're doing a screen record and you're trying to give a little tutorial on somebody on how they can change something, maybe you're sending it to your, your family member, as I've done multiple times, I would actually just go through here I would use my microphone. More than likely what I'm trying to show off is not gonna be an application with sound. Uh, then it's gonna pick up everything through the mic. And then you can also show the touches on the screen. So definitely when it comes down to a tutorial or showing somebody something that's brand new, showing of touches is gonna definitely help out. And then you just hit on start. Now on Samsung phones, this has already been, up, been there. Uh, you just go through your quick settings, you tap on screen record. Uh, you're able to change a little bit more of the settings, the, the format you know, where the sound comes from, the quality, the selfie video size. So Samsung gives you a lot more uh, settings that you're able to change. You can even hide the status and navigation bars, which makes it actually really cool. Anything that you've shared, if it's a screenshot, it'll automatically delete. Um, but yeah, that's how you're able to do that here on your Samsung phone, which was already there. But for your Pixel users out there on Android 11, this is brand new. Now feature six, this one, I'm just gonna move the phone out of the way. This is one that there's always an Easter egg with every single Android version released. So with this one, when you go inside of your settings, then you're gonna scroll all the way down to your about phone. And then here you wanna tap on Android version multiple times and it's gonna bring you this screen here. Now the little trick is that you wanna bring the volume all the way up to actually 11. Uh, so it's going to unlock that. It's showing you that it's Android 11. And then a little cat icon is gonna show up on the very bottom. So I'm gonna show you what that looks like here. You can see that we actually disabled it. So there's actually two little hidden tricks with this one. For the first one is to show you the little Easter egg that you know you might be playing with this. And you're like, oh, this doesn't really do anything. But because it is Android 11 and you're bringing all the way up to uh, 11, then you unlocked this little cat game. And it was something that I believe was released back with Android 7, I think it's uh, uh, Nougat or whatever, and how you're able to play this little game, it, it, it again is kind of stupid. So how you're able to activate this is you wanna press and hold on the screen here, and you're gonna take a look at this screen where you can add in different controls for your home. Now, if you uh, wanna activate this little cat game, you wanna go to see other apps, and then you're gonna see right here, cat controls. And then you wanna activate these ones to show on that past screen, you just hit on open. Now, if you originally don't see this, it's because you're set up on this like home page after you activated it. You just wanna switch it over inside of these cat controls. Uh, this is where you can um, add in the water. You can tap this to you know get a cat attracted with a toy. And then food bowl. So you wanna make sure that your food bowl is full. Now that you've done this, uh, you, now you just have to wait for a cat to come. And then in your notifications panel up here, it's gonna show you the cat that you just uh, attracted and it's cat 117. This one, it, it's one of those where you'll get a different cat and it has a different number. It's a way to collect all of them. It's kind of, I don't know, it's something to do if you're kind of bored uh, with everything and you just want a cat to come in. Now that you've already you know, attracted that cat, which is number 117, you can actually tap on it. You can change the name. So now just make sure that your bowl is full, your water is sitting there. Uh, you can even take this off of there if you don't want to see your cat controls. Uh, now you just wait it out. And usually it takes maybe a couple hours. It might take 30 minutes. It might take six hours and it'll track a different cat. It's a way that you're able to just kind of collect all of them. But if you wanted to turn this off, all you'd have to do is go right back inside of that Android 11 screen. So you go back inside of your settings, you go to about phone, you go inside of your Android 11, you're gonna tap this one a few times. And then once you just put it up to 10, it's actually gonna turn it all the way off. So if we were to go right back inside of the screen here, you go inside of this one, you go to edit controls or add controls, you're gonna see that nothing is sitting there. Uh, you don't even have the option to add more applications. So that's how you disable it if you don't wanna see it. It's just one of those little fun little you know, Easter egg type of things. And again, it's a game that was already there from several years ago on Android 7. But I hope you guys have liked this video. If you guys did, please give this thing a huge thumbs up. Don't forget to hit subscribe. Subscribe right over here in the very bottom left-hand side. And if you like this video, then more than likely you'll also like this video. And I'll see you guys later.